there's a way to make an entrance. My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. We're going to be married 10 years this year, and we'd really love to do something special for Valentine's Day. It's going to feel like you just landed on Valentine's Day Island. I just feel like this is a project that's never going to end. It's too much. I'm going to have to spend the entire day making sweets for this table. This whole thing's going to fall apart. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Are the seasons overwhelming you and you're stuck in a holiday rut? Not to worry. Adju is a skilled baker with her very own local bakery shop. Denise is a crafting and sewing expert extraordinaire. And I'm a passionate florist who just wants everyone to enjoy flowers as much as I do. Between the three of us, we'll get you in the mood. And give your holiday celebrations a personal handmade touch. One that's unique, crafty, and delicious. Together, we're going to give you a holiday makeover. Gina and Jonathan have been married for 10 years and want to throw a Valentine's Day party to celebrate their love. When we first met at the gym, and he just asked me what spinning is all about. <laughs> a few days later, he showed up at my very early class. It was at 5.45, I think. Yeah. yeah. People just don't show up at 5.45 a.m. classes. It was love at first sight. We're going to be married 10 years this year, and we'd really love to do something special for Valentine's Day. So it would be really great to have friends and family over to celebrate this special milestone. We got married at my family cottage. As Gina said, the weather turned out to be great, so everyone had a, had a great time. We love nature, and ever since we first started dating, we've been doing canoe trips and things that are active in nature. Valentine's Day has sort of been low-key, you know, since we've had kids. Do you want to get the ketchup out? You know, responsibilities come up, life gets busy. No, no, Jay, honey. We'd like to do something special this year. It would be really wonderful to have help to make this celebration a great day. Valentine's Day is one of the most romantic holidays of the year. We're here to talk to Gina and Jonathan to find out exactly what they want for this Valentine's Day celebration. All right, so Valentine's Day, 10 years. Tell me about it. What are you envisioning? What do you want to do? Well, we're pretty simple folk. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'd be really nice to do something special out of the ordinary, Definitely. a little bit more glam. Um, you deserve Food, that. Flowers. And I see you like roses, so we can work with those. I do love flowers, and to have lots of flowers would be great. Oh, yeah. mm. You can go bold for sure. Yeah. There's and lots of inspiration in here. Everyone had such a great time at our wedding outside. We just want to have friends over and you know have Nothing fun. Nothing too uptight. You want them to feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah and that's yeah. how our wedding was. It was very informal. Yeah. People got a chance to walk around and talk with each other. Yeah. So it would be wonderful to have that in the party as well. I'm the one with the sweet tooth, so. What flavor was your cake? Chocolate. We can work with that. <laughs> Very big sweet answer. We love chocolate. Yes. And your invitation, I'm definitely getting lots of inspiration from that. I think we're all bubbling with ideas, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to brainstorm. Yeah, you guys get out of here. Yeah. We, we love it. Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go. They want chocolate. I've got chocolate. Of course you do. Yeah. In your purse, walking around with chocolate. <laughs> give me some. Give me some. I want some. Thank you. <laughs> so I think oh, yeah. definitely hearts. This mm -hmm. is Valentine's. Well, I love the invite. I'm going to definitely use that as inspiration. I just think there are so many great things happening here. So I'll Perfect. figure something out. I'm going to work with it. Amazing. And I'm glad they love flowers because I'm thinking I brought with me um, this hydrangea sort of inspiration, that Marsala tone is really mm -hmm. hot right now. Yes. And I'm thinking of making this sort of a living wall. Really oh, bold. And maybe we could even do a photo booth where they stand yes. in front of it and yes. yes. the hashtags, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I could do with that is I could do um, something like an edible prop so that they could take pictures with. Oh, oh that's perfect. a great idea. Yeah. Well, if we're all doing something about photos, Maybe I'll do a photo frame or something. Perfect. Yes. I can do one for each of the guests. They can take it as as a gift. Awesome. I love yeah. it. Oh my gosh, we have so many ideas. We have to get started. I know, we really get need this to go. Chocolate. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I want some more of that. That was really good. <laughs> now that we know what Gina and Jonathan want for their Valentine's Day party, I'm heading back to my store to start brainstorming. I'm really inspired by Gina and Jonathan's love. They've been together 10 years. They were married at a cottage outside. So we want to bring the outdoors in and create this beautiful backdrop for their party. 
So when I'm starting a new project, I'll take inspiration from what surrounds me. So the shop is a beautiful jumping off point with flowers and plants and everything beautiful. And absolutely, I love to just put pen to paper, do some drawings, and know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. If you don't brainstorm and you just go for it, you might find yourself in a bit of a pickle. So how big does this flower wall need to be? We want it to be wide enough for people to stand in front of. So I'd say at least four feet wide. And depending on Jonathan's height, I think it has to be at least six feet, if not more, because he's, he's pretty tall. A flower wall is essentially a wall with fresh flowers on it. I think a flower wall is an excellent thing for a party because it can become a photo booth idea. It's dramatic, again, bringing the outdoors in, so it's a nice, big, bold feature, kind of a focal point to the party. I have a couple concerns. I'm concerned about the flowers staying lush and beautiful. I don't want anything flopping. I'm also concerned about getting it from A to B, keeping it intact, because we're building it here, essentially, and then we're taking it to the party. I'll start by building the frame, then I'll cover it with chicken wire, add in my foam, cover that with moss, and then place my flowers. This flower wall is going to be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I'm working with the most stunning flowers, the blooms are lush, it is going to be epic. Looks good. I'm going to have to clear my schedule and spend the entire day making sweets for this table. Everywhere I turned was one more spot I needed to put in a nail. Oh, they're just crooked. This is really taking forever. This year, Gina and Jonathan are celebrating 10 years of being married and want to throw a Valentine's Day party to commemorate this milestone. Denise, Adjua, and I are taking the pressure off these busy parents and creating a Valentine's Day party filled with dessert, decor, and crafts inspired by their wedding day. We just got back from Jonathan and Gina's. I can't wait to spill all of my ideas onto paper. My process for brainstorming, I just like to get everything out, just piece it together later. I'm gonna be making the sweets to go on the sweet table. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm thinking definitely cake, definitely chocolate, definitely something colorful. So if we do a cake and let's give them a surprise. I think it'd be kind of cool if they cut into it, there's confetti spilling out. We'll do mini eclairs with chocolate filling. The chocolate popcorn, that's gonna be a pretty big hit. The meringues, we'll do the heart shape. We'll also have the marsala and pink swirl so that'll tie it all together. Sweet table is a perfect thing for Valentine's Day because you can have a bunch of the things that you love and that inspire you or that make you feel in love all in the same place. Okay, so let's get started on the cake, but also get those meringues in the oven. I'm in the kitchen right now and I'm getting ready to bake all the stuff that's gonna go onto the sweet table for Jonathan and Gina. Okay, I have to get started now. So for this Valentine's Day party, we're going to make an amazing sweet table using their center island. I'm gonna make them cookies, some chocolate, some chocolate popcorn, some meringue. It's gonna be amazing. These hearts are kind of my favorite. It starts out so simple and they look pretty fantastic. You're beautiful. Baking makes me so happy. It's the thing that excites me, the thing that calms me. It does everything. And what's an honor, though, is also to be able to make things for people, share them with people they love. These strawberries are looking amazing. And one for me. Mm. When I'm thinking about what I want to do for Gina and Jonathan, I'm just thinking about how can we bring in different elements from their relationship. So they got married at a cottage, let's bring in something rustic. You know, it's been 10 years, let's do something big. I want a craft that makes people say, oh my goodness, like that's incredible. Maybe I can do something kind of graphic in the back, like a zigzag all across the background kind of a string art, have their names in the foreground, you know, just create this big statement piece that can go in that beautiful spot in their living room. Yeah, I think this could be it. So my plan is I'm gonna do a gorgeous 
big string art piece. Basically, it'll be a piece of glossy plywood that is covered with geometric string that's ombre from one side to the other. It's gonna incorporate their names just like it was in their wedding invitation. It's gonna incorporate a heart, of course, because it's Valentine's Day. And then we'll have Marcella, we'll have the ombre, we'll have string, we'll have wood for their cottage, and it'll all come together as one big masterpiece. Good to use a hammer. But I do want to make sure that the nails go deep enough that the string won't pull the nail out, but shallow enough that obviously they don't go through the other side. So it's kind of a game of chance and precision at the same time. Love that Jean is nice and short, but I'm kind of dreading Jonathan. Why does he have to have such a long name? Oh well. I think I'm going a bit cross-eyed, but it's coming together. I feel like there were hundreds of nails. Actually, I felt like every time I reached for one, they would multiply. Like it was never ending nails everywhere. Everywhere I turned was one more spot I needed to put in a nail. Oh, they're just crooked. I just feel like this is a project that's never going to end. <laughs> this is really taking forever. Seems like the icing on the cake. <laughs> this has taken forever. My back is killing me. My fingers are killing me. Oh, shoot. Man down. This whole thing's gonna fall apart. We're well on our way to making the things we need for Gina and Jonathan's Valentine's Day celebration. I'm building my flower wall. Looks good. Adjua is baking her treats. You're beautiful. And Denise? This is really taking forever. She started her string art project, but will she ever finish? I can do this. Focus! So I'm finally in the home stretch. This has taken forever. My back is killing me. My fingers are killing me. But I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I think it looks amazing. Even before we have string in here, it looks so nice. So the paper's gonna come out. And then I'll get to do the fun stuff, the string. That feels good. The final letter. Finally, last piece done, and we are ready for the string. I can't wait. This will definitely be the fun part, and after all that hammering, I just want to do something more creative. All right, now let's go crazy. I've never done a string art project before. I had this vision in my mind. I thought, oh, this is gonna look amazing. But, you know, to be honest, I didn't really know how it was gonna turn out. I'm kind of stressed about the time, because as I'm doing this, I mean, this is fun. This is kind of therapeutic and relaxing, but seriously, I need to get this done. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't take too long. This definitely tested my patience between all of the nailing, between all of the zigzagging of the strings. It was just one thing after another, and I just had to be very patient. I had to take my time, and I had to trust that in the end, this will turn out. I totally didn't think I'd be able to pull this off. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this up with one final knot. It's it's so important to have sweets or desserts for an occasion like Valentine's Day. It's an indulgence and anytime there's a lot of emotion like love, you really should follow that up with something sweet and something that makes you feel good. Usually you think cutting into a cake is good enough, but for it to be filled with candy on top of that seems like the icing on the cake. <laughs> I'm so excited to make this cake. I am going to make a red velvet cake and cover it in buttercream and then cover it in fondant. We'll have heart decor that ties in all the colors. What's most exciting about this cake is that the inside is gonna be filled with candy. So Jonathan and Gina are gonna cut into the cake and candy will come spilling out. Now that I'm finished baking, I can't believe I got everything done. I'm going to pack everything up, make sure it's secure, and head on over because I've gotta get that sweet table set up. So we're almost there. Just a couple more boxes to go and then we can get on the road. I'm really excited to get set up and see what it looks like with everything together. It's really fun, the brainstorming part, but like when you see it come to life, it's really amazing. Last one, and we are ready to go. Looking good. To construct the flower wall, it will be a little bit of an improvisation. 
because I've never made one. I've made other things like wreaths, so this is just taking it to the next level on a larger scale. I'm gonna start unraveling this chicken wire. And it'll just stay like that, that's great. I need it to be good and taut. <laughs> Get us some aggression. So on the flower wall, I'll be using carnations, mums, roses, hydrangea, and a little bit of moss. It's gonna feel like you just landed on Valentine's Day Island. So I'm cutting some foam here and I'm gonna attach it with some wreath pins. Yes! I'm happy to see that this is just gonna be a really straightforward and easy process to affix my foam to my frame. Oh, this is working! And I love the edge of it will be really kind of organic and misshapen, much like nature, as nature would be. Oop. Man down. <laughs> I'll, okay, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, this is not going to work. We need to reassess. <laughs> I'm currently up against a major problem. The floral foam is kind of popping off. It's just not secure enough in tiny pieces. And I fear once we get it all built, it's just gonna absolutely fall apart. And that is my worst nightmare. I need one solid piece. Da, da, da. I need one solid piece of foam. This is too expensive. Time consuming. And not right. So I think that what I need to do is cut a larger piece of foam, secure it better, even with duct tape, because you're not gonna see the mechanics of this. So it can just be secure and solid, and then the front will be pretty. And I have to do this fast because we're running out of time. I need to make it there. Holy crow! I'm freaking out. This is my freaking out face. I know I'm still smiling. That's what I do when I'm freaking out. I smile through it. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside, I'm in absolute panic mode. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. I'm at Gina and Jonathan's. I've got to get my flowers in, get it done. While Denise and Adjua are already putting the finishing touches on their handmade goods, I'm having major problems keeping my flower wall intact. Oh shoot, okay, this is not going to work. I need to make it there. Everything that could go wrong at the shop went wrong. Oh shoot. Okay, this is not going to work. So when I thought I had hours to build this beautiful wall, I now had minutes to change everything and get it here and build it here and literally cut my time in half. Oh yeah, okay. Ooh. I'm at Gina and Jonathan's. I've just picked up everything I need to get the project finished. I've got the foam, which I have to cut and put into place. I'm wrapping the white foam in landscape fabric so that when the moss goes on top of the foam, I don't see white. I've got to essentially place all of my moss, get my flowers in, get it done, and get out. This is exciting. So I finished the flower wall. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's exceeded my expectations. I know I should trust myself more because it's truly beautiful. I'm hopeful Gina and Jonathan see it and it makes them feel nothing but love. Gina and Jonathan asked us to help them throw a Valentine's Day party to celebrate their 10 year anniversary. They want it to be special, just like their wedding day, with homemade touches for their family and friends to enjoy. We're so excited to see what they think. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Look at all the colors! <laughs> Denise, Adjua, and I are really happy with what we've done with this holiday makeover. We took a rather conservative family space and converted it into a room perfect 
for a Valentine's Day celebration. Chocolate cake, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> the sweet table is filled with pink chocolate-covered strawberries, delicious mini chocolate eclairs, and sugar cookies in the shape of lips and X's and O's that are the perfect props for the flower wall photo booth. And to top it off, there's a heart-shaped chocolate red velvet cake with sweet candies inside. Oh. Check out the string art. Look at the detailing. We created an intricate, colorful string art statement piece using Gina and Jonathan's wedding invitation as inspiration. And the floral wall. And for our nature-loving couple, we made a six-foot flower wall filled with roses, ranunculus, carnations, and the most luscious flowers. It's sure to last for days. You totally brought the outside <laughs> in. You totally did it. Great job. I think everyone will have a blast here tonight. Can't wait right. for everybody to arrive. Yeah. It was wonderful to see all the elements from each one of our pieces come together. And to see everyone enjoying it was also amazing. Reggie! I think the Valentine's party was a hit. It was great. I think everybody loved it, and we certainly did. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, is that? Oh, that works. No. Oh. What? <laughs>